Hello guys, welcome to Security Red vs Blue Team channel. In today's video, we'll be discussing on social engineering topic. So let's uh, get started with the topics. So in, in, we'll be mainly covering uh, what is social engineering and why social engineering uh, is the key uh, threat uh, to the security. And, uh, and what are the important uh, types of social engineering? Uh, it's like uh, soldier surfing, tailgating, dumpster diving and phishing attacks. So let's get started with the what is social engineering. So social engineering, uh, it's like a psychological manipulation of people into performing actions um, or divulging confidential information. And it, it is one of the, uh, it, it is a non-technical method of intrusion where uh, attackers uses the mainly uh, uh, relays on um, human interaction and all, also often involves in tricking the people into breaking normal security procedures. And it is one of the greatest threat uh, when it comes to our organizations, especially. So um, the, let's get uh, look at some of the uh, one of the video where uh, how how attacker tries to get, find the information um, of a particular target where uh, just just having the uh, basic information about the person. Hi, this is Sam from Bank of East Security Fraud Department. Unfortunately, I have to inform you that your account's been compromised. What? What happened? First, before I can answer any questions, I need to verify some information. Are you still at 306 Hawthorne Avenue? Yes, uh, apartment 2C. Great. And your security question, favorite baseball team? Um, Yankees. I don't remember this being a security And lastly, question. your pet's name? Uh, Flipper. Uh, who am I speaking to? Can I get your name and number? With those details plus a dictionary brute force attack, it'll take my program maybe two minutes to crack his password. If you look at the video, um, the attacker knows very uh, limited information about um, um, about the target, and he um, and he is trying to find out uh, some of the basic security questions. And um, the uh, the owner uh, the, uh, of the information just picks the call and he tries to uh, provide the information without uh, even knowing uh, at the beginning itself, like uh, whether the the call that is received from a, a person whether he is a trusted person or not. So that is the first thing uh, we need to do whenever someone tries to ask for a OTP or something. Uh, just pretending like, okay, this is your gas OTP or this is your uh, uh, the password is a OTP or it could be uh, any other stuff. So just just get to know about the target. Uh, just get, get to know like who is calling and whether it's a trusted person. Whether the do we really get the call uh, from or a message from this person regarding this detail or that. So before uh, without knowing anything, let's not provide any other any information. It could be pin or it could be a address or anything. So that's the, um, the the key thing uh, um, which people are missing even 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 today uh, when it comes to social engineering. So that the, that's what um, the clearly explains in this video. And so and why if you look at like why it is um, the key risk when it comes to uh, security, uh, the the key risk uh, the reason because the attack the easiest easiest route uh, for hackers and it is a low investment and high return strategy and. Um, the why it is more effective because uh, it is uh, uh, difficult to detect social engineering attempts nowadays and there is no uh, proper method to ensure um, the security from social engineering attacks and uh, there is no uh, specific hardware or software uh, for defending against these, so, uh, these type of social engineering attacks and uh, the security policies are as strong as their weak link and humans are the most susceptible uh, factor. If you look at uh, the common types of uh, social engineering attacks, uh, the one thing that, that immediately comes to the mind is that the shoulder surfing, where shoulder surfing refers to the using um, a direct observation techniques such as looking over someone's shoulder uh, to get the information. And it's commonly used to obtain the pins, security codes, or similar. It, it could be another similar data where uh, it occurs when attackers watches um, another person's computer screen uh, or that person's shoulder, and particularly uh, dangerous in public areas such as airports, trains, or ATMs. Uh, it could be anywhere else. Um, so if you look at the images, uh, if one person is trying to do some task and uh, other one uh, looking at the shoulder, it could be at the uh, office location, it could be at the bank, or it could be at um, ATMs, it could be in the, the private places. Uh, so the one must be very careful uh, when doing a particular task so that uh, no one is watching or no one is behind you. So the next comes uh, the tailgating attack. You would, be, uh, you would have seen at the office locations or at the office uh, entrance buildings. Uh, where um, one 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 just swipe the card and other uh, without swiping the card they try to enter it so and that 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 should be completely avoided so it happens when a person um, attacks along the another person 
along with another person who is authorized to gain entry into a restricted area or pass to a um, certain checkpoint. And mainly to avoid this type of uh, tailgating attacks, the many companies have uh, implemented anti-tailgating doors, where uh, mainly to protect entrance, protecting the entrance to highly security areas, through which only uh, one person can go at a time. And the third one uh, comes the dumpster diving. So the dumpster diving, um, it is like um, looking for a treasure in someone's trash. Where, um, and in, in this IT world, the dumpster diving is used to retrieve the information that could be uh, used to retrieve the information um, mainly um, to carry out an attack of, of, of a computer network. You, this is uh, mainly done when, when an employee is leaving an organization. He just uh, uh, fill out all the details, not just uh, leaving an organization. Uh, it could be any other thing, uh, any other, uh, stuff. Let's say um, a, company, a, a person has hired a uh, credit card to the company's address and he would get the card and um, he will take out the card and uh, all the other details which is there in the envelope. He'll just try to uh, throw it in a dustbin. Uh, it would be in any other thing. Uh, it could be um, um, uh, not just the credit card, uh, any other office stuff, or it could be um, um, the payslip or any any other thing. So uh, any employee or uh, wh whoever it is, make sure that no information is being uh, thrown at the dump or, or a dustbin. So that that should that should be um, uh, highly taken care. Where um, uh, I think uh, this is what we have been explained um, when uh, uh, in the beginning uh, video, where uh, um, in a in a sample video in the beginning of the slide where how um, the attacker is trying to uh, dig out more information by just having a few details about the target so this should be uh, highly avoided whatever it is either you try to burn the papers if it is uh, uh, not required and but better uh, avoid to um, not throw at the public places where it is easily accessible for others and comes the other one which is the last one which is the phishing attack so phishing um, is an attempt to uh, acquire sensitive information, um, mainly such as username, password, credit card details, uh, for, uh, for, for a malicious reason by masquerading as a trustworthy entity into electric communication, electronic communication. So this we have seen uh, even in the past, like the major attacks uh, were in for some of the banks as well. And if you look at this uh, information, um, usually uh, the the link for Amazon will be like uh, Amazon.com. But in this case, we have uh, two ends at the end. So similarly, um, uh, um, uh, some information um, um, uh, so some um, some of the entities will uh, try to send a link uh, saying saying that this is a genuine link but when we, uh, we what we just do like we just log into the system and we'll try to reset the password we'll be getting a mail like okay your account has been um, hacked please try to reset the password immediately to to be on safer side but this should be highly avoided because um, even if it is uh, first try to go through the mail and check whether it is a proper one um, and, and don't do not ever open any link that is received on a message or it could be another uh, link it could be other uh, through email or any other stuff so try to uh, directly go through the website or if you uh, still have a problem then try to contact the customer care of that uh, website then proceed accordingly do not ever click on uh, the phishing link that is sent via messages or uh, it could be an email you uh, only if you are sure about the link then try to open it so these are the topics um, that we have cover, uh, covered in this um, uh, social engineering topic, uh, social engineering. So what are the, what is social engineering and what are the important types and why it is a key, rest, uh, or key threat to the organization. Uh, hope you have um, understood the video and thank you guys. Thanks for watching the video. Please do like, share, comment and subscribe. We'll be coming up with uh, uh, the new topic, which is OS um, top 10 vulnerabilities very soon. Thanks once again for watching.